Hello, Abundant Tribe. Today, our reading consists of um, healing our money energy. And so we're going to pick a set of cards that will reveal to us what we have to do to heal our money energy. So I'm going to pause the video and you guys can stare at the cards. Now pick with your gut, okay? Pick with your gut on um, which card you pick and then this card will reveal to you um, what you need to heal in order to get your money energy at its highest peak so you can manifest money. So these cards are all about healing um, and what you have to do to heal the money energy so that money can get flowing into your life, okay? So I'm gonna pause the video and you can stare at it for a while, pick a card and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, welcome back guys. Um, if you pick number one, let's see what you have to do to heal in order to get your money energy to its highest peak, okay? So this is number one. Okay, this is the gratitude card. So first of all, you must express gratitude even for the smallest, littlest things in life. Express gratitude at all times. And this will heal your money energy and what's going on with your money patterns or your abundant patterns. And your healing card for number one, you got Citrin. If I can get it off the table. <laughs> citrin. And basically, the healing from Citrin, basically, you're worrying about... Um, too much of what's going on at home, family, and finances. And basically, if you just express gratitude for the small things that you have, this will give you the abundance that you need, the true abundance that comes from within. And you'll be able to nurture your desires and be joyful. And it's all about expressing gratitude for the smallest things in life. And once you do that, that can heal some of your money energy and some issues you may be having manifesting money just by expressing gratitude for the littlest things, the smallest things in life, okay? And that is card number one. Okay, card number two. I release all stress surrounding money, okay? And your healing aspect of that is amethyst okay now amethyst is all about inner peace it's all about inner peace and if you're always stressing about money that's why your affirmation is I release all stress surrounding money you have no inner peace and amethyst is all about inner peace um, Letting go of stress, letting go of obsessions will give you this freedom and this inner peace. So this could be, you know, ruining your money energy that you're always stressed about money. So if you release the stress and you find your inner peace and just stop stressing about money and stop being obsessive maybe and overindulging and things like that, you will increase your money energy it will heal you inner peace is a wonderful thing okay and that is card deck number two okay if you pick set number three this is set number three and trust your intuitions if you trust your intuitions a little more this could heal some of your money energy just trusting your intuition trusting yourself um, stop doubting yourself 
And let's see what your healing crystal is. Your healing crystal is Melachite. Now, when it comes to healing, Melachite is all about the subconscious mind. Um, trusting your subconscious mind. Basically the same as trusting your intuition. Okay? It's all about also detoxifying the mind and the body and also your emotions. And this will kind of let go of some of that doubt that you have, that you're not trusting yourself. And this will heal some of your money energy. You know, some of this uh, stuff with money is so subconscious, almost all of it is, if not the root chakra. So trust your intuition and heal the subconscious mind, detoxify your body, your mind and emotions. And this will heal some of the money energy stuff that you have going on. It'll put your money energy to an all time high so that you're manifesting. Trust your intuition and your subconscious mind. Okay. Okay, so set number four, if you pick set number four, this is what you need to do to heal your money energy, okay? And it says, I am safe. So if you affirm to the universe that you feel safe, you feel grounded, this will help unblock some of whatever's going on with your money energy, just feeling safe and knowing that you're safe and feeling grounded and let's see what your crystal healing card is it is rose quartz which rose quartz is all about unconditional love so if you feel loved and like you have unconditional love this will also make you feel safe a lot of us not feeling safe is about us not feeling unconditional love for ourselves so unconditional love is the greatest gift you can give to yourself or anybody else. So unconditional love and feeling safe is going to help you clear out some of that negative money energy and get some positive money and abundance flowing to you, okay? And if you guys would like a two to four card reading, um, the link is down below. Also, join me on Thursday. I'll be going live at 12 noon. And that is all for the Abundant Tribe today, okay? See you guys soon.